Well, I first came to Fashion Cleaners as, a, as a, an applicant for a job. I had first-hand knowledge about the quality of the work, about how much they cared about the uh, product that they put out, and their relationship with their customers. Even after I left, I left and went on to the university as a faculty member. I continue to bring my dry cleaning here. When I walk in, they know my name. They get my dry cleaning before they ever even have to ask who I am. When I call on the phone, they recognize you. Uh, they're very, very service-oriented, and they realize that it's a service type of business. To me, the, the, the clothes, they're always great. They're always perfect. Hi, good morning. But what really sells me, the reason I like to come here, when I walk in, there's a friendly smile. All right, we'll see you Saturday. OK, thank you. When we moved here in 1962, my husband and I were both working the school system. Oh, that's good. I used to make all of my clothes. So the things that I made, I wanted them to look nice. And anytime I brought something to fashion cleaners, they were top notch. They'll help take my clothes out and put them in the trunk of my car. It's that kind of personal service and conscientious service that you get. And I just hope that they'll stay here for another 50 years. When Fashion Cleaners first started, um, there were f drivers that had rings of keys to everybody's house. Now I'm talking back in the early, early 50s. And they would go on a route and they had keys to, to people's houses. Well, I think that, you know, Tom Harbour, who was my father-in-law, he definitely, wherever we went to lunch, wherever we went out, somebody knew him. We could never walk in the front door and walk back to a table and sit down and eat because Dad would know three or four or five people in the restaurant. And he'd always have to go over and say, hi, how you doing? He treated everybody the same. You know, he wanted to give good service regardless. It just really was his model of how people should be treated, making the customer feel like they're family. As a city commissioner, I realized the real value of that continuation of, of a multi-generational business that really cares about the quality of the product and certainly the customer service. It's kind of like cheers where everybody knows your name. You come in here, I've been here for so long, they know me, and I just enjoy it. I think the biggest testament is that I've been coming here for at least 15 years. The culture of fashion cleaners is primarily we're in the service business and we provide dry cleaning and laundry and pick up and delivery service. We do offices, hotels. I mean, we are customer oriented. Oh, hey, fashion cleaners is here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, I think that we just want to keep trying to find ways to make it easier for the customer. I see a future that for us will probably include the 24-7 where you can drop off and pick up your cleaning even if the stores close. I think that, you know, certainly with the technology, all that's finally available where you can feel secure enough to do that. Well, I think that Fashion Cleaners has a, a clientele that is really adjusted to and lives within the the confines of that company and that company is always expanding to meet our needs so we don't need to look for somebody else anywhere. I've turned them on to so many people I work with um, and the one thing that is really neat is the people I turn them on to can't believe they pick them and deliver at home and that's a nice service. You could be the best at what you do but if you don't care about the people that are your clients, patients, customers, the business is always gonna, it's gonna suffer. And that's what they, they have down here absolutely is that, that personal connection. They've won me and I hope they win others. Mm -hmm.